Hi everybody, Jane Hunter here. Welcome to my kitchen in Mid Wales. I am, it's a wet, rainy day today, so I thought I might like to try a different craft today. Um, so I thought I'd give you some ideas. And um, it's a craft or it's a project that you can take anywhere you want. It's just your imagination that's going to limit what you do. So here, what this is what I'm going to do, some birds like this. Okay, that's quite a big one. We might make some small, you know, I'll show you how to make big ones, small ones. Um, so what we need to do this is we need round things to draw around. So I've got a selection of plates and tape and bowls there. Um, you'll need your pen or pencil to draw around them. The scissors to cut out your shapes. Um, some string maybe for the legs or to hang them on. It's up to you when you've made them, what you do with them, and some paper glue. Um, I've got some feathers for their tails. One out of the feather duster, one of them I found outside. But you don't have to have feathers. We can make, um, you can make little curls of paper or something. You don't actually have to have them. And I think that's all you need. The paper can be any paper. Here's a bit of my stash. I like collecting things. So I've got a bit of shiny, I've got some old prints that I've done. Um, you can use old books, newspaper, magazines, wrapping paper, old wrapping paper is good. Any old pictures you've done that you don't like anymore. You can even say draw the circles for the birds and then you can you can do a pattern that you want to do in there. So you can make this a quick thing or you can make it take a really long time over it and use your imagination, experiment with things. Oh and of course don't forget you could always stick some sequins and glitter on there just to make them that little bit extra fancy. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you what to do now. I'm going to tip this down and hopefully we'll see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use this old print and a page out of a magazine. I'm going to do the body out of the blue and then I'll do this for the wings. So the larger circle, I'll use these two, a side plate and an empty yogurty pot thing okay so here we go the large circle out the blue just going to place it where I can get the whole thing on the paper right cut it out so if if somebody can't do the cutting then just cut the circles out for them and then they can assemble um, and if you're doing this with very young children, um, you can go and get them to find round things to draw around. You could talk about shapes and colours and contrast, pattern making, comparison. Oop, I've gone a bit funny there. Right, one circle. Right, so the next one, you want something that's going to fit inside that's smaller, okay? So that's quite a good one. I'm going to plop that over here and I'm going to place it where we've got all those bright colours I think and just about fit it on okay round we go you can you know express quite a lot of your personality with these um, depending on what papers you choose colours you choose they can be very individual as different as you and me and everybody else Okay, so I am rushing this a bit because I don't want to hold you back from your making time. Okay, so we have our two circles, one inside the other. Okay, so we've got the body and we've got the wings. Now we need a beak. So I'm going to cut my beak out of shiny because I just love it. Shiny, shiny. So if you imagine that's going to be our beak. Then we've got a tail, so we've got a feather for the tail, and then we just need some legs. 
So I've got this string, I'm going to cut the legs. So how to change the personality of your bird. It can all depend on, you know, we've got the colours to play with, we've got the different types of tails and beaks, length of the beak, type, shape of your triangle. And the same with the legs, you can cut them short or long, you can put knots in them, you could put beads on them. So I'm just going to do plain ones for now, just to show you what's happening. Okay, let's move that up a bit. Right, so the next thing, we want to glue our smaller circle onto the big one. There we go. Glue stick. Like that. Into the middle. Ish. Middle ish. Okay, so now you want to fold, turn it over, fold that in half, because that is then going to help with the placement of your beak and things. So we've got a crease in half. So your beak, you want to stick kind of going over that halfway mark and your tail you want to stick in there and your legs you want to stick in there. So go ahead and do that. Well I'll put the glue on here because you're actually going to glue the whole thing together now. So let's put the glue on. Tail in, beak on, legs in, there we go, um, fold over, and we have a bird, look at that, okay, can you see that, so there we are, it's quite straightforward. And then, of course, it needs a little eye. So this, depending where you put the eye, can give the bird some personality. So I'm just going to put it there and there. And there you have a very simple but effective bird. Now, there are variations on a theme. So don't forget, you could put some beads on the bottom of the legs and what you're going to do with these now you can hang them up put a little hole in them put some thread on maybe get a stick and hang it on a stick you can this looks really good if you cross tie two sticks together make a mobile and have lots of birds hanging off it all different sizes colors what else have we got we got this little fella. All right, this one, I don't know if you can see, this is made out of a bit of a book. And he's got a crest. He's got a crest. He's got a long pointy beak. And he hasn't got a feather, but he's got some cut paper in for a tail. Looks cute. But look, you could put that on a card, couldn't you? Um, it, that would look lovely, loads of little ones, and both sides of this are different. So that's why they look really good on mobile, because you've got an um, all-round view of them, front, back. This is, this is something else that's dead cute. You could do a little string of them, like a garland. So the way you do that is before you fold them over and glue them all together, you put your string in and glue them over, over the string. Okay. Sorry, and so on. Um, this is one I like. So this is this uh, using old prints that I did that I've sort of stuck to um, a, a very tight colour theme here. Black and white and a bit of this sort of dirty green gold. And I love that one. He'd look good on somebody's birthday card. You could put it on a... I've got a bit of card. So you could put it on a birthday card or something, couldn't you? Which would be cool. You can leave... Say you didn't glue the whole of the wing down. You could write a little message under the wing, couldn't you? 
he looks dead cute. I like his, I like him. Um, what else we got? Oh, here's a big feather I've made out of paper. So you want to cut a shape. Lots of cuts with your scissors down. You could make a feather. So if you haven't got a feather, that's a good idea. Um, another one. This one's got a crest on him as well. And he's got lovely gold wings. So you can imagine how gorgeous they would be with a little bit of glitter on. I haven't got any glitter. Can you believe it? Okay. So you could you could leave them so that they rock. Whoops, that didn't rock, did it? Why didn't he rock? But you can make them just so that they will stand up and rock. Um, Christmas. Robins. Tiny, tiny little ones for earrings and necklaces. It's just, end, it's just endless. Um, and then you can start playing around with the size of the thing. That's quite a big one, this one. And I've also cut another circle out and started sort of playing around giving the bird another head. Well, you know, a proper head shape. So you can see you can start expanding from your basic technique. So there we are. I hope you can spend many hours making lots of lovely birds. I really enjoy it. It's a really fun thing to do. And the colours and everything. Oh, top of my head. Um, enjoy it. You can make families of them, couldn't you? And you can hang them on top of each other and then hang them up against your wall. Anyway, endless. Enjoy. Bye from Wales.